Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely weekend. Uh, if you've not subscribed yet, please do. Um, we're all about luxury and fashion and beauty on this channel. It's not all luxury stuff. I do quite everyday regular stuff as well, give you honest reviews on things. So if you've not subscribed, please do and hit the notification bell and you'll get notified every time I do a video. So today's video is an unboxing. So I'll just get straight into it and show you guys what I've got. So it is a Louis Vuitton unboxing. I'm getting to the point where I think Louis Vuitton should give me a discount, to be perfectly honest with you, because I'm becoming an ambassador for them. What can I say? So, you get the receipt. I don't know why we always show things like that on these channels. I don't, I don't get it myself. But obviously, you get a receipt. You wouldn't have it otherwise, would you? So, uh, she comes with its orange bag. Um, my lovely essay at Manchester here in the UK. Jill, she gave me a couple of samples as well, and that is from their new perfume, Spell on You, which smells lovely. I think I'll definitely be getting the large bottle in that. Beautiful. So, this is how it is. Now, I've not unboxed it since I've seen it in the shop. Um, she's obviously shown it me there, loved it, bought it. Uh, but it is a bag that I've wanted for a while, so if you follow me on Instagram, you may know, because I think I've put pictures on there of it. Always out of stock, can't get it online, very unavailable in stores. Happened to look on um, last week, I think it was, and it was available in my local store at Manchester. So I so I got onto my SA, Jill, and asked her if she could get it for me and reserve it until I could pick it up, and God bless her, she did. Absolutely love that, and I believe from what she told me there was a bit of a fight over it in the shop because somebody else wanted it for their customer or their client, as they call them. But I was the lucky one. So let's get into it, let's unwrap it, take this lovely bow off. Ribbon. I will save them, I don't do anything with them. If anybody knows what you can do with these ribbons from boxes, please let me know in the comments because I just save them. So, here's the box. Traditional Louis Vuitton packaging. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like Louis Vuitton. But it doesn't give you the wow factor when you open their boxes. Not like a Chanel unboxing or a Dior unboxing. They always put the tissue paper and the, the squirt of the perfume on the tissue paper and you know, the little stickers and the chameleon flower on the Chanel. So there's always something, you get the star on Dior. Um, Louis Vuitton, I like that. But I suppose that reflects in the price for most of their bags, because most of their bags, I would say, are at the affordable end of luxury goods. I mean, you're going into your Dior and your Chanel, etc., and places like that, then you are going to go into the thousands and thousands. And don't get me wrong, these bags on Louis Vuitton for thousands and thousands and thousands. But if you want a normal everyday bag from Louis Vuitton, it's a little bit more accessible money wise than it is from the others. That's my personal opinion. I just do feel like the pricing is a little bit lower. And maybe that's why you don't get all the, the luxury stuff on the unboxing part. But even so, I save the boxes. And it always comes in a nice dust bag as well, which I always keep. So. Anyway, to the bag, as you can see. So this is the Speedy Vandalier 25 in the denim jacquard print. Isn't she beautiful? Yes, she is. I've wanted this bag for a while since I've seen it. I've seen the jacquard print in the dem, 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 dem. denim range before Christmas. So they were bringing this one out. They're bringing an on-the-go out, uh, they're bringing like a shoulder bag, can't think what that one's called, but it's like a little half moony shaped kind of bag. Um, they've got other things, they've got shoes, they've got hats, they've got scarves, um, but it was the bag side of it that I was looking at. And yes, this was one of them that caught my eye. I do like the on-the-go as well. Uh, I have got an on-the-go, which I've not done an actual reveal of yet. I'm not going to do an unboxing on that because I've already unboxed it. I've had it a while, but I just never got around to unboxing it at the time, but I will do a reveal on it. Um, so I won't go too much into detail on that, but I do want an on the go again, and I do want a smaller version of the one I've got, and they do one in this, although it is a couple of 
100 dearer than this one. But I believe this is price increase due at Louis Vuitton. So if that's the case, get it now. Anyway, let's get back to the unboxing of the day, which is this bag. Absolutely lovely. So you've got the jacquard print denim all the way around. And on the back, there's a lighter part. Don't think that's, a, don't think that's wrong if you get one and you think, oh, no, what's this faded already? That, everyone's like that. Every bag is like that on this, this jacquard print that they've done on the denim. So you get the side that's really full on blue denim and then you get the side that's more like the whitewashed kind of denim which you can have either way it makes no difference because there's no like tag on it to say you can have it one way or the other so it's entirely your preference so here you've got the two top angles which are lovely blue leather i love the blue leather trim uh, this bag oh, although it doesn't remind me it's not to the shape but the feel i get from this bag is the feel i got from my very ever first luxury bag which was the Michael Kors Leah Satchel, um, which my other half bought me, and bless him, he's bought me this one again. But the, the feel I get from that this bag is exactly the same feel I got with that bag. I am, I'm absolutely going to love it and probably wear it to death. Um, so you've got the brass hardware on this, so you've got two zips that meet in the middle. I think if I had any doubts about what was wrong with this bag, it might just be that the zips don't go quite far enough down the side. But again, it's the opening's big enough, I think, to get in and out of things. So, but it, you know, if you're really picky, the zips might have been a little bit longer, so the opening was a bit wider. Anyway, so inside the bag, you've got one zip pocket here, and you've got plenty of room, and the jacquard print is also inside. Obviously, you get your crossbody strap with it as well check that out for you i will insert some mod shots mod shots of this on, on crossbody as well um some part of this video will have them i'm no technical expert you guys know that by now i'm winging this all the way they'll be in there somewhere that's all i can say so you've got the strap and there is quite a few settings on this i think there's five settings i've got it on the longest because I like to wear my crossbodies quite low down on the hip more than on the waist. And I suppose you could also put some extra holes in your strap. If you've got um, like a shoe repairer or a cobbler in your area, they usually can do that. I did it on another bag of mine for the strap. I wanted a few more holes in it so I could wear it a little bit longer. And they did it and they made a cracking job of it. You can't even tell they were never meant to be there. So I'll probably do the same with this when I get into that area of my town and get them to do a few more holes in that for me just so I've got that option of wearing it longer if I want. And then you also get in this lovely little dust bag is the padlock. So you've got the LV on the back and I've not got the glasses on. I don't think they're on top of me. These are sunglasses. I mean, my reading glasses. But I think it says Louis Vuitton on the actual padlock on the front and of course you get the little set of keys now i'm not one of these when they come with padlocks and you get a lot of bags that come with padlocks i don't tend to leave them on all the time it's not something i do i would use it if i was taking this on a plane with me maybe or something or on holiday and i wanted it locked up so nobody could get inside it then i'd use the padlock but other than that it'll just stay in its bag until that day it's not something i have on as a decor for any reason i know some people do it's not my thing as that's absolutely fine if it's your thing that's great i'm gonna have a sip of my uh, coffee i made a coffee before i came on don't know why i just did i felt like a brew so i thought i'd have one while i'm talking to you it on the nose there anyway that's as strong as my thing get on the sunday because i've got work tomorrow so yeah there she is in all her beauty absolutely love it so this is the Speedy Vandalier 25 in the Jacquard print. And this is retailing for £1,670 in the UK. Uh, and they're very hard to get hold of. So if you can get hold of one, if you like it, definitely get it. I don't think you'd be disappointed. It's absolutely lovely. I think it's going to be one of my favourite bags for a very long time. And I can just picture myself in summer with a nice pair of jeans. Yeah, beautiful. Anyway, guys, have a lovely weekend. And I hope you have um, everything you want in life. If you've not, don't worry about it. It gets there eventually. That's all I can say. Take care, guys. Bye.